It's the Andy and Dave Daily. Happy Friday, everybody. Woo! Yay. Say that. Go, woo! No, I'm, not, I'm, not your, I'm not your dancing monkey. Well, I'm, I didn't not gonna throw, I'm not going to throw my like, hands up and just... Uh, no. That's not, <laughs> You're not going to go willy-nilly like that, huh? No, that's not how I roll. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, God. Dave's pulling We're double duty here. all this week. Yeah. He's got a little extra thing going on in the afternoon talking about traffic. Uh, this has been hectic. Hectic oh, week. I feel for you, man. I don't I think really you do. do. I don't think you do. I don't think you care. I think you're I faking it right now. Not at all. I, mean, you're, I don't, I don't feign my concern. Huh? You're genuine with the voters. With me, I think you're just you're playing. No. No, I'm, 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 I'm totally on your side, man. I feel for you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Get up okay, so you're, still, you're still you're still pissed at me from the video that you sent me that I was entertained by, but I it was a fun video. video. Fun yeah. video. Of course, you got to pick it all apart. I didn't pick it all apart. I just, you know, sorry, certain certain <laughs> things the, I'm not into. You're the 50 year old kid that eats ketchup on hot dogs. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> not 50 and 46. Whatever. <laughs> Let's not age me four years yet. I think that's the new scab I can pick. I think you're. I think you're afraid of getting older. I, absolutely not. I love. I have honestly loved my forties. It's they've been great. My thirties yeah. were awesome. I became a dad in my thirties, so that's great. But my forties have just been. I love it. Yeah. I, I really do. Sure. And I'm aging like fine wine. You are. <laughs> good. Feeling you're aging good. Like fine wine, in your mom's Jimmy. basement. Yeah. And or as you call it, the wine cellar. <laughs> call it what you want, man. L-I-V-I-N, the dream. All right. God, I can't get rid of this cough. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> you know what it is? I'm going to huh. tell you right now. It's all those antibiotics you took when you were sick. I haven't taken any. I know, because they're, 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 you're, they're not effective anymore because well, you take them too much. So now you can't well, fight well, off How can anything. you be effective if you haven't taken any? Well, because here's... Here's the problem. You've taken them. You 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 take antibiotics all the time. Anytime yeah. that you're not feeling well, that's not good because you're you're they're no longer effective because oh, you're, but I haven't you, taken you any. Build, and you can't build up a resistance to anything. You just gotta let things go through you. I, and I did. And it put me in the ER again. More fluids. Yeah, great. Okay. Yeah, they, they tell you to drink more fluids. Just to, just to, just drink water. You need to go to the ER for that. Come on. Let's get to your news. All right, talking like a millennial, for Christ's sake. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Facebook, they had a historic day on Thursday on Wall Street. The social media giant had the biggest wipeout in history. Biggest what? Shares pl- biggest wipeout. Shares oh, boy. plunged. 19 percent founder mark zuckerberg in just a matter of a few hours lost 16 billion Ow. dollars wow dropping him from fourth to sixth among the richest men in the world so, ouch poor poor mark zuckerberg but is it, i mean really i mean facebook's had so many problems i don't know anybody who doesn't have problems with facebook but I, this is this just makes me laugh i laughed my ass off when i saw this i'm like you know, it's not like Mark Zuckerberg's going to be, you know, eating ramen noodles anytime soon. But, I mean, God, that 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 media site is just just irritating. And I'm on. I mean, I mean, I've actually gotten back on it a little bit more. Yeah. But it's just the the the, the rampant negativity that's just yeah. There's a lot of that from everybody's virtual yeah. pie hole is just annoying. Yeah. Who? Yeah. You're on it all the time. I know that. So and I, I, mean, and I try to be exactly not that. You know, yeah, I try to be a, 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 a force of positive on there. Right. So uh, my Facebook experience has always been good. It's well, not see, been perfect, the, but it's been good. You're the antithesis of the t- typical person, person on Facebook. You're just – you're not what they are. And I right. think uh, for the most part, I mean, sometimes you get a little whatever, but that's okay. Everybody's yeah. got their – there are times where they, they drone. And uh, I I just – Zuckerberg's got to figure out a way to make Facebook better and not with – not the way he's doing it. Right. The way he's doing it is is, is a mistake. And I think, I, I think the stocks are going to continue to plunge. Now, they'll bounce back eventually because he's a smart guy. But Right. Uh, What's the – here's a question for you. This whole stock market thing. Mm-hmm. What's the? Do you know anybody that's lost a significant amount of money in the stock market? No, um, I don't because nobody. I don't know anybody that gets ridiculous 
with their investments. No. I actually have a friend of mine. I, I do have a friend, an older friend that has lost previously because of some investments uh, that he made years and years ago. But yeah. uh, nobody recently and, and everybody I know now does, they do fairly safe investments that right. are you know, long term and they're not they're not really concerned. I knew I dated a girl um, when I first moved to Muskegon. You know, we had a great relationship. Everything was cool. Her her dad had some pretty heavy investments. And was it 2008 that they had the big market crash? Yeah, well, we had the the housing market uh, took a dump, and then the Dow just one went. of the. And I don't remember if it was 2008 or the one before that or whatever. He lost in the ballpark of three hundred and eighty thousand dollars on a on, in a day. Yeah. <laughs> And, and see, and that's with somebody who, who can't probably couldn't afford really to lose three hundred eighty thousand. No, I I, I think he was ready. I think he was braced for the the fall. I mean, oh, they were they were okay. pretty well to do. Um, uh-huh. You know, good for them. I don't take anything away from them. But I love but, uh, yeah, I love that. I love yeah. Can you imagine survive that where it's not where it doesn't wipe you out? Oh, where you don't have all your eggs in one. So, I mean, that's like, diversify. I know nothing about finance. Right. All I know is what I hear smart people say, and they say diversify. So, there you go. Andy, you lost 38 bucks today. Oh, my God. <laughs> God, what am I going to do? I need new tie rods for my Mercury. I actually just got those. That was. I know you did. That, that nice. hurt. That hurt. That stung a bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right. In her first interview since being fired from her highly rated sitcom, Roseanne Barr apologized for her allegedly racist tweet about former Obama advisor. Valerie Jarrett, Barr reiterated that her tweet was intended to be political, not racial. And she again offered the excuse that she was on Ambien at the time. Now, I don't know if Roseanne's racist or not. I, I see how she could have made the mistake. I really do. Yeah. As far as not knowing that Valerie Jarrett was black because I wasn't 100%. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't say, oh, it was Ambien. You can't, you can't, you can't hold on. You can't keep dying on the Ambien sword. Saying that's what that's what made me say that. That's what made me do that. Now, come on, come on. You're, I don't. I guess I don't. I don't want to say she's. But she look. She's a crazy person. She's yeah. dealing with a lot of issues, and that's what I put it off to. It's just you know the ranting of a of a of a very talented, very funny. I liked the reboot of the show. I thought it was really good. Uh, but uh, she's a crazy person, and okay. that's gonna happen. I personally hated the reboot of the show, and it's like now Murphy Brown's coming back. <laughs> Have, have we have we sincerely really lost touch with the ability to make a decent show that we got to keep re- rehashing these old turds? Well, the fact that they're going to bring back the the Roseanne show without Roseanne, call it the Connors. Okay, so yeah, let's get all the not talented people <laughs> to try and make this better. And there's no, there's no way that lasts, dude. That I'm here to tell you what. Season. Television itself, season. what what's on TV now is terrible. I disagree. Oh. I, I think you got to. I think the problem is you got to search harder for it. Most of the good stuff. Yeah, is I do. On Netflix, like House of Cards, was great. I love. Yeah, but Homeland. that's not on network television. I, love, I know network television. Oh, everything on network television except for Modern Family and the Goldbergs is hot garbage. Oh, Goldbergs is great. Modern Family is great. Everything else that I've seen. Uh, well, Big Bang Theory is pretty good, but that's. I mean, that's one of your more traditional sitcoms. But there are a few. No, nope. but I go I mean, right to the documentary section on Netflix or Amazon or whatever, and give me documentaries. Well, it's not, it's a, and in fairness, in fairness to the people producing a lot of this garbage, it's not for us anymore. And you know the, that, and and that's fine. It's for other, it's for other people. But I mean, regular television, network TV is much like network news is yeah. is dying a slow death. I mean, yeah. they're just they're losing viewers left and right constantly, and they, you know, you got to figure out uh, other ways to to reach especially the young people and the people with money yeah so, anyway finally a revamped walmart has reopened in muskegon county the sherman boulevard store in fruitport had been undergoing a four million dollar renovation project the past two months the store originally opened back in 1994 now the only reason i did this story is because of the way Walmart is viewed now is interesting. It's not what it used to be. People have really kind of stopped crapping all over Walmart. Now, it's not like we don't view Walmart like we view Meyer in West Michigan. It's not. I mean, people like going to Meyer. They appreciate Meyer. Meyer has been a staple forever. But I think after what uh, Walmart did as far as uh, jacking up the uh, 
their employees' salaries. I think people have kind of stopped. Okay, we don't need to to pretend Walmart is just this you know beacon of uh, horribly evil capitalism, and uh, they're just sucking the soul out of America. I, and and that's nice to see. Okay. People stop doing that. I I, I like. Walmart's okay. I used to not like going in there either. And I still, I, I don't feel as good going into Walmart as I feel going into Meyer. but it's, it's not as bad. It's, 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 they're, they're picking things up, I think. Hmm. I go to Meyer. Okay. I go, That's what I have to I say did, about that. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right. Hey, that was great. You, my friend, Ari, but that was a great political answer. I love that. I didn't even realize what you were doing until you did it. That was fantastic. Thank you. I love that. that is astute. Astute campaigner, Andy O'Reilly. See how I am? I go to Meyer. I shop local. West Michigan. There for you. All right. Love that. Sports. Cubs beat the Cardinals 7-6. to six. Detroit Lions open training camp on Thursday under new head coach Matt Patricia, their preseason opener. August 10th at Oakland, and then they will open the regular season Monday night football, September 10th, against the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. That's sports. Okay, have yourself a great weekend, and we will talk to you back here on Monday. Bye-bye.